First of all, the difference between horses and people, we have tall bodies, they have long bodies. Look here, if I stand right here, just with that one reach, I'm just about as long as him, all right? So now I can start, if I'm standing here, there's nothing worse than a horse that as you're standing here and he starts to, to run around you and you have, and then, because we've got a tall body, you can't do anything about it. Even here where he, where he got out of, out, of my, out of position here, I'm gonna see if I can go like this and ask him to come up here, all right? All right, so just being able to have a long body that I can block him, I'm gonna start being able to do some things. So it's important that we have a tool that gives us something stiff. It's about the same length as a horse's neck. All right, look at this. If I put that on his withers, about the same length. Got that? It's about the same length as one of his legs. So I could, in fact, I could kick him with it, just like horses do. All right. See, all of a sudden he's looking at me, he's going, Whoa, this guy's not normal. That's right, buddy, I'm natural. Now, we need to have more of an idea of, if we, if we just use the mantra that pressure motivates, but the release is what teaches. Well, it's not just pressure, it's like, where do you put the pressure? Mm -hmm. And if you can just understand zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four, zone five, or if you're going from behind, zone four and five, five and four, move that and draw back. All of a sudden, I started seeing people getting under the same amount of time. If I had two days with mm -hmm. them in a clinic, I saw people in that same two days, the next group getting 10 times the result when I started talking about zonology and they started getting an understanding about it versus before I did. It's a little bit like you look at a piano key, keyboard, the low notes are over here, the high notes are over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get it. It's not just mm -hmm. random, mm -hmm. it's the lows and the highs. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden you go, oh, I kind of get it here. So my, my, my goal is to make things 10 times faster, at least, mm -hmm. for everyone. And also, you know, it gives them a common language. So straight away, you, you've bridged any, any barrier that, that stops the learning process. Yeah, you know, it, it's actually made uh, developing instructors make much easier. Sure. Yeah. So, you know, I've been able to tell, teach instructors to teach students through some of these common languages like the zoonology. Mm. And it's interesting as you travel the world, some people are hindquarters or forequarters, there's different terminology in different countries. So just simply to so say, quick, zone four, yeah. zone one, it just crossed all barriers. Well, we, we've, we've done clinics in I think over 27 countries. Mm. And all of a sudden, every country, we give, them a, we give everybody a common language. Mm. And, then, and there they are, you know, even if they say it in their, in their sure. you know, it's quickly understood. Zone Cinco over there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if I'm going to ask this horse to do something, I need to usually do a combination of things. I need to be able to talk to Zone 1, and I'll put my hands right here. I'm going to say Zone 1. What I want you to do is I want you to go backwards. And Zone 1, by the way, you need to push the rest, Zones 2, 3, and 4, and 5 back. So I'm going to take my hands right here on his nose, and I'm going to teach him to walk backwards off my... There we go. Okay, so this is what we call the porcupine game. It's the first thing we start teaching in, in the first levels. We just start by simply putting our hand maybe on his nose. Now watch, let's see if we can ask him to put his head down. So I'm gonna put one, my left hand in zone one, my right hand in zone two, and go there. All right, so I'm just asking right now, I'm still testing, not really teaching yet, because if he passes all the tests, we're doing good shape. And then also in, in the get started, you include, which is really fundamental, you talk about the prey predator. Until that's uh, firstly made aware of or recognized and something has to happen for the human to begin to break that down. You, then you talk about your three critical games, ground exercises that you started to teach all those years ago but now have really become the, the fundamental for everything you do, your friendly game. Quirky little name but in it so much, so many people's troubles come from that and in, you've given many examples and you talk about that a lot and get started. The friendly game. Well first of all there's only two things, if you boil it down to getting a horse to start getting started for the horse. He's got to learn to be confident and he's got to learn to, to make sense of pressure. Sure. And for a horse, there's two kinds of pressure, basically. There's physical pressure when you pull on the lead rope or get a hold of the rein or use your leg or anything like that. It's just physical. You feel something and it should make sense to him. I've seen horses, when you pull on the reins, they run. Pull on the right rein, they go left. I think it's in Argentina, they actually train the racehorses. Pull the right rein means go left, mm. left rein means right. Mm. 
this is called opposition reflex. A lot of people put their leg on the horse and the horse will side pass into their leg. Mm, push against it. Push yeah. against mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty natural for horses sure. to push against pressure. It's something they're born with to get, get, lion, away, yeah. get lions off their back. But there's, it's hard for a horse to make sense of pressure if he's unconfident. Like if, if, if he's in a, a self-preservation mode and he really thinks what you're trying to do with this stick is, is hurt him or kill him mm. or a string or a rope or anything. I mean, horses are, you know, their number one instinct is to be perceptive to danger, people, places, changes and things. So if all of a sudden we can take that first instinct and get them to be perceptive to cues and communication, that's a very positive thing. And all of a sudden the horses start going, oh, okay, first of all, I get it. You're, I've accepted the fact that you're not trying to hurt me. Mm. Now I need to accept the fact that you're trying to bridge a language with me. Mm. So the only language we have is to be able to make, for the horse to make sense of the pressure that we put on him, whether we put our hand and back him up or use the rein or the lead rope. And the other is the suggestive power. You know, if you said to, to your horse like that and he came over to you, you know, it's like a little puppy, come here puppy, puppy, mm. and the puppy comes running, that's suggestive power. If you said to a horse, get back and you haven't touched him, He's following your suggestion. So to me, it's, it's, and I know a lot of people put a lot of negative connotation to the word pressure. Sure. But this is a pressure that, that is the more that we can understand, that we'll, we can motivate them with that, especially with the zones mm -hmm. and the particular places. And then it's the release that teaches. And horses are smart. They're quick learners, probably four to 10 times faster than people. Everything in front of the drive line causes them to turn or slow down should and everything behind should cause them to go forward and or turn and face you. The reason I keep saying the word should is because let's say I put some pressure on zone four and he didn't like it and he kicked up at me. I go, well, I thought Pat Pirelli said it was good. You were going to swing your hindquarters away. That's only if he has true respect. Respect is appropriate response to pressure. And what we're trying to do to, right now is to make, help you test to see if your horse has appropriate response to pressure and to see if you can teach your, teach your horse to appropriately re respond to pressure. We'll be back in just a moment to be able to spend some more time with Mr. Pat Pirelli. Do you have problems with your horse? Does he bite, kick, rear, or run off? Is he impossible to put on a trailer? Pirelli introduces the simplest and most effective way to change your horse from a nightmare back into the dream you always wanted him to be. The new Get Started Solving Your Problems Naturally DVD has everything you need to learn how to turn your horse into your partner for life. Over the last 30 years, Pirelli Natural Horsemanship has helped millions of horse lovers all over the world solve their problems with their horses. I've dedicated my life to helping horse people worldwide to become so good with horses that even the horse thinks they're brilliant. Get Started is not based on gimmicks aimed at a quick fix, but will address the reasons why you have problems in the first place. There are no problems. There's only solutions waiting to happen. And we're looking for natural solutions. Get started solving your problems with your horse. Don't wait. Go to Pirelli.com slash get started. 